Hello everyone and welcome to Python programming practice. In this episode we are going to be covering elite code number 14, longest common prefix. Now this is another easy problem so it shouldn't be super difficult but we'll see what we can do. We're going to start by reading the problem description here. The problem asks us to write a function to find the longest common prefix string among an array of strings. And then it's giving some examples here. If there is no common prefix, return an empty string. It's just two quotes without anything there. And here is example one. The input, we have three strings in a list, flower, flow, and flight. And it wants us to output fl as the result because the longest common prefix is fl 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 and it's only that because the third letter is oo but in this one it's i so the longest common prefix here is just these two letters so that's what you're supposed to return now in example two we have words that start with different different letters so obviously in that case there is no common prefix like dog and car d and g d and c are different letters so there is no pre common prefix there so in that case you just return the empty string and there is a note here that says all given inputs are in lowercase letters a through z so that just simplifies things in terms of not having to do any kind of case conversions. All right, so let's pull over to the editor here and see that see what we're given to start with. We're given an input list of strings called stirs, and the expected output is a string, which is the longest common prefix. All right, so to start up with this problem, we probably want to first take care of a couple of kind of corner cases or base cases. Sometimes you don't know exactly what kind of inputs you're gonna be given in these sorts of problems. And sometimes they try to trip you up by say passing you an empty list or something or a list of length one, so it's, it's often good to just kind of deal with those sorts of things right away in case they're going to throw that at you and it causes your solution to fail. So let's start off by handling uh, empty lists, I suppose. So we'll say if the length of the strings list is zero, which means it's empty. There are other ways you could do this, but we'll just do it with length. We'll return the empty string, because that means if there's nothing there, there can't be a common substring of anything. And if the length of the strings list is 1, it means there's only one thing in there. So, I mean, in theory, if there's only one thing in there, the whole, the whole one thing is a common substring of itself. So in that case, we just probably want to return the whole first element, which is zero, because Python, the zero index is the first index. Now we actually have to figure out what to do with lists that actually have more than one string in them. So basically what we need to do here is kind of take the first string we're given and then look at the one after it and see what the longest common prefix between them is, save that, look at the next word, do the same thing, and do that for every single word in the whole list. And any time the common prefix is gets shorter, we'll have to update what the current prefix is. And if we ever reach a point where the prefix length is zero, meaning say we saw in the example dog and car start with different letters if we reach a point where there is no the first letter even isn't in common then we could just exit and return immediately the empty string so that's essentially how we can solve this problem so we're going to 
need to start by getting an initial prefix. We can start by just using the entire first word as our starting prefix. So I'll say pref, that'll be our prefix. Our starting prefix will just be the first word in our list. Um, we're also probably gonna want to know the length or keep track of the length of the prefix that we're working with. To start off with, it'll just be like the length of prefix, but this is something that's going to potentially get shorter as we go through and chop down to the shortest prefix. So we'll just store that. And so we're going to have to do now is loop through every other word in the array, everything other than the very first one, which we already stored as the initial prefix. And then for each one, we're going to have to check the current prefix we have and that word, and then set our prefix to whatever the prefix they have in common is. So as we loop through the words, the prefix may get shorter and shorter as we find words where the common prefix is different. So to do that, we're going to have to start looping through the rest of the string. So we'll say for s, which means string, I suppose, in our strings list. Um, but we don't need the first one, so we'll say We'll start from one and then go to the end. So this is looping through the input array except for the index zero that we already stored as our initial prefix. So for each of these words, we now need to check whether the current prefix we have in our hand is actually in that string. And if it's not, we need to shorten our prefix by one and check again. And if that doesn't exist in the string, we'll keep shortening it until the prefix is in common. If we can shorten it all the way to zero, if we have to shorten it all the way to zero, then there's no prefix in common and we can exit. So we're looking for essentially while our prefix is not in the first same number of letters in the string we're looking at, we need to shorten it by one. So we'll use a while loop for this. We'll say while our prefix is not equal to the first same number of of uh, characters in the string we're looking at. So while the prefix isn't equal to the first, say, zero to the length of our prefix, so if our prefix doesn't exist at the beginning of the word we're checking, we have to shorten it. So while the prefix isn't equal to that, we're going to shorten the prefix by one. So we'll say the prefix is equal to the prefix, but we're going to cut off the last um, last character. So we'll set it equal to the previous length, but minus one. So we're just basically saying we want to shorten the prefix by one by doing this. And then we'll also subtract one from our length so that we update that. And that should do it. Um, but we also want to break out or just return completely if we got if the length of the prefix actually hit zero. So at this point, we would want to say if the length is actually zero now, then we just want to return empty string because that means there's no common prefixes at all that should loop through all of the words and as long as this doesn't exit with a return empty string the final prefix we're left with at the end of this loop should be the longest common prefix so at the end of this we should just be able to return that prefix that we kept shortening throughout this loop and this should be a working solution to this problem. So why don't we go ahead and hit submit on that one and see what we get here. Thing pending, let's pull over and see the result. All right, so it said a runtime of 28 milliseconds, faster than 88% of other Python 3 submissions. So we did managed to solve this problem successfully. Um, so I hope that was helpful in getting you to think about different ways you could go about solving some Python programming problems.
So keep coding and I will see you again next time.